Good evening. Throughout my career, I've always gone on record as saying that awards of this type are outdated, inappropriately elitist, and generally undesirable. But it's amazing how my views have matured over the last couple of weeks. A huge thank you to the Royal Television Society. Thank you to the jurors. I'm really chuffed. And thank you to my brilliant colleagues at Sky News who work so very hard around the clock. Luck. Luck has played a massive part in my career since I first walked into the Invicta Radio newsroom in 1984 with a shiny new degree in Latin. I was able to translate the poems of Lucretius at high speed, pars and ablative absolute, and count backwards in Latin from a thousand. But I was not able to type or even pronounce my R's. In local radio, I learned the importance of accuracy. I was lucky to have worked at the BBC in the late 1980s, where I learned the importance of impartiality. I was lucky to have worked on ITV's News at 10 in the early 1990s, where I learned the power of distinctive eyewitness reporting. I've been lucky to have worked at Sky, where I've learned about the importance of challenging the status quo. I hope that Sky News today is living proof that the proper role of any serious news organisation is not just to report the news, but to analyse it too. The biggest lesson that I've learnt is this. It's not the strongest or the most intelligent that succeeds, but those prepared to adapt and change, innovate or perish. And wow, does our news industry need to change to reflect modern Britain? Look at the black and Asian people nominated tonight at these awards. We all have more work still to do. This isn't just about changing who is on the TV screen. It's also about changing the people who make the decisions behind the scenes. Luck in television journalism still too often favours the white and middle class. Young people from ethnic minorities need far more than only luck to succeed. They need advice, support and opportunity to get on in our trade. And they need our respect. Respect for the new ideas and new skills they can offer us. So please give it to them. I'm going to end by thanking two special people who made a fundamental difference to my career. The first special person is the founder of Sky, Rupert Murdoch. I thank him for investing in high quality news and current affairs in the United Kingdom more than 30 years ago and for demonstrating that public service journalism cannot be left solely to the public service broadcasters. The second special person to thank is Harriet Riley, my wife, who died last winter. I thank her for enabling me to pursue my career over the past 37 years, while she, a more capable individual than me, put her career second. So tonight, I dedicate this award to all those who keep the home fires burning, enabling us to go to work, to focus on what we all must cherish, accurate, impartial, original journalism. <laughs>